So for me, mentorship uh, is a, a really important part of where I got to today. Being able to um, reflect back on how I built my career over 20 plus years, being in marketing, uh, 15 plus being in corporate, um, Fortune 500 and above companies. I asked myself how I got there, what I did right, what I maybe could have done better. And I think back about uh, mentorship. Not only being a mentor, which I am today, but being menteed as well. It's an important part of it, but how important is it, I ask myself, and did I follow the protocol of what mentorship means, especially when I had my mentor? To me, mentorship is not about seeking out executive vice presidents, presidents, CEOs, directors of any level, or anyone of any high caliber corporate nature within a professional environment. It's about the stories that we collect from people through the journey that we carry through our career and through our life. Um, I think back about um, how I got to where I got to today and it's really not about at one particular person that was in a high profile position. It started when I was just a young girl. My uh, mother and father ran a very small business that still exists today in the automotive industry and uh, my father ran that full time out the back of our house which is where it started and uh, my brother and I were taken care of by my mother for full time, uh, she's a full time mum. So my mum would take care of my brother and I, send us up to school, feed us, bath us, you know all the stuff mum, good mums do. But what I didn't know when I was really young and it didn't dawn on me until I got a little older where I had time to take notice of things a bit more was um, after she would feed us and bath us and put us into bed, she would actually go out back into um, and my father's workshop and start her second job, which was helping my father lift heavy, heavy machinery, um, work with tools that most females probably wouldn't need to. Um, she would do book work as well and a lot of other things to keep that business going, which was really just run by the two of them. Um, and a successful business for you know, 30 plus years now. Um, so thinking back on those moments, what did I get out of that? I got out of that strength, responsibility, accountability, respect, but the will not to give up. And it's okay to work hard, really. It, it's okay to work hard and to get your hands dirty. Um, little did I know when I was, you know, four, five, six, seven, that this is what it would mean to me sitting here in my 40s plus telling you this story. But it really has been the foundation of where I've gotten to today. And it's made me sit back and listen to other people's stories. So then I carry on from getting into my early 20s when I started my first job and finished my university degree. I still didn't have a formal mentor, but what I did have was a group of people that cared about me. They were neutral and unbiased in their opinions and they were honest with me as well. And it wasn't a matter of having to go out and seek for their opinions. We would see each other on a regular, regular basis. And it was a fluent and very transparent relationship. Not only just about me within my career and my working life, but me as a person and as an individual. I learn a lot through them. And I continue to learn a lot from people. It's it's important to take a, take a step back and take a breath and, and hear someone's message and translate that into what that could mean to you. I'll tell you a story that happened to me very recently. Hairdresser. Everybody has a hairdresser, goes to a hairdresser quite recent, regularly. And um, he was telling me a story around how he got to where he got to with his own company and started from nothing. Immigrated from Vietnam, started with nothing, now has a family, successful business. But he told me his story and I thought, well, how can I overlay that into my life? And it came back again with listening to people's stories, collecting their messages and his story of strength and tenacity and not giving up and you know, not being able to uh, take no for an answer was something that rung through to me. And you know, I really took a moment and I'm going to take some of those messages away with me. And it just doesn't stop at a hairdresser. That's just one very simple example. I think the lasting message that I'd like to leave with any young woman about to enter the career, her career or any professional uh, choice is don't go after what you're told to do. Don't follow 
the typical mentor mentee program uh, that you may have read in a textbook look out for people that you know look out for people that might be live in your neighborhood just everyday interactions and collect those stories and relay them into your life and what it could mean take a moment and really listen to people I think you'll get a lot out of it as I have done and uh, Formal mentor, mentorship, mentorship as well is great, but don't restrict yourself to those boundaries because you could be missing out on a lot of opportunities in life and a lot of opportunities to really get the most out of whatever you're seeking to do.